Hello, this is Anton, and today I want to get into the SuperNote A6X and some of the, the, the concerning issues that I've been having, the downsides of, of the device. Um, and pretty much it all re resolve, revolves around the synchronization of the content on the device to the cloud and, and across the, the different apps so that you can access the notes and the documents uh, when you don't have the device on hand, right? Or when you want to move things and see, you know, the, your different notes from another device, download them as PDF, similar to things that can be done on the, you know, the Nova 2, the Onyx books. So let's start with the portal. Now the portal has a really nice UI. Everything here looks good. It has the, you know, organizational structure on the, the left side where you have the notes, docs, export, um, screenshot area, inbox, download, etc. Where where you can kind of either put your notes or docs in in these locations. Now if you go to the notes. We can see the folder structure. This is what I have on my my A6X on the device in the notes area. I've created a, a folder and then I put all my notes in that folder. One big issue here, and I still have not gotten this fixed. I've even put in a ticket with SuperNote and with Router and have not received an email back. But if you click on note, resolution, failure. Now, I don't know if the syncing issue, because this there's an issue here with syncing the notes is related to um, the portal, the website being in China, which, you know, for those in the U.S., you should understand that the portal to access and sync your notes is in China. So if this is a concern for you, you probably do not want to get this device. Um, I have not seen any other way to sync your deals to their their cloud platform, except for servers that are in China. Um, so that's one downside here. Now you can get to your documents because the device pretty much acts like any other storage device, right? So when you move documents, to the cloud and then they sync to the Rada SuperNote. It's no different than putting it on a USB drive because when you look at it on the device, it's, it's, just, it's going to storage. Now, the one difference that you will see from the web portal and the app, which I'll show in a minute, is that the web portal, you can upload PDFs, you can upload EPUBs, these marked files are marked are files created by the device itself. I did not upload these, and you can see there's one associated with pretty much each of the files that I've opened on the the uh, A6X. And there's also I uploaded a .docx, the Word doc file, in here because one of the commenters on the uh, YouTube channel want to see if it supported author files. And that feature is, you know, even in the on the website does somewhat say it's, it's coming in the future and that it's not here yet, even though it's somewhat hidden, right? They, they don't blast it out and make it really well known that those features are not here today and that those are something that's coming later. So the doc file, I can upload it to the portal, but you will not see this on the device. So you can only see the currently supported file types and PDFs and EPUB show up. Um, but you can put them here if you want to use this as a storage device, just to move files around, connect it to another PC and then grab it from there, you can, but I use the cloud and OneDrive and Dropbox for that purpose. I don't need to move stuff to a 
to, you know, some kind of offline storage and then carry that around with me for this purpose. Now let's move to the to the app, the the mobile app. And you're gonna see some similarities here, which is good from a you know usability, you know, user experience perspective. So when you go to the web portal and to the app, there is somewhat, you know, some synergies there. If I'm in the notes section, if you click on this little icon there, it opens up the different menu that gives you these other areas that we saw in the web here on the side. And you can click into these areas. If I'm in the note, if you go into the folder, you see all my notes are here. And let's click on that and see if we can see one of these notes. No, look, failed analysis. It's, again, this is very aggravating. I'm not sure why this does not work and support has not gotten back to me yet. So for me, I'm gonna say, if you're in the US and you're using this and you're thinking about buying one of the SuperNote devices, um, it, I, I would probably not. Uh, not to say China's a bad place or anything, but I will say you, you will probably want some of the syncing features that comes with the, the device. And right now they're just not working. So, and support has not been responsive to me in this case. Uh, you still get the, again, on the mobile, you can still go into docs and you can see all the docs, even the Word doc that I uploaded. You can see the doc that it is here. But again, you're on an Android device which supports all these formats already. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now another syncing option, you have two syncing options that comes with this. You need to sync to SuperNotes Cloud or you can sync to Dropbox. So I've set this up, it's pretty intuitive, so I don't, I'm not gonna walk through or show you the process of how you set this up, but really you just go to the device, you click on the Dropbox option, it gives you a URL that you go to and also a code that you enter in. And once you go to the browser, it, you know, you have to make sure you connect it to your, your Dropbox, similar to integrating any other solution with Dropbox. Now, once that's done, it creates a folder in your Dropbox area called SuperNote. And then you'll get the same structure depending on how you sync it. So you, you will go into the device and you'll select the different folders that you want to sync. I've selected to sync them all um, even though there's not anything in every one of the folders, but in the notes, you know, we go through the structure, but familiar, we can see the folder one again. And if we go into there, you'll see the notes. Now, unlike on the Onyx, the Onyx books and their, their my, my books cloud service, these, notes when they sync they sync in this dot note format and this is not readable by anything that i've been able to try it with so far so this is what you get when you open it um and it's really just this garbage there's you, you're not going to get your note readable I, i'm not sure why they didn't sync it as a pdf file but good that you can sync the device to Dropbox, but still, just like with the cloud and the mobile app, you can't even read your notes. So this is, I, I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on in SuperNote, but, or if I'm the only one, if I'm the only one and, and you have a SuperNote and you're looking at this video and this all works for you, please let me know in the comments because, um, if I'm the only one, then that's actually good for the community, you know, good for SuperNote that the product does work. Um, but this at least shows that there are some issues. Okay, so really 
this was all I wanted to kind of get into today on the Supernote A6X. I've already done a, a review and given my feedback and my take on a device. It is a good device for writing notes and looking at PDFs and also ebook ebooks, but with the lack of you know a, a working sync syncing solution. Again, I'm, I'm not going to recommend this device for anyone, especially at the price for the device. Um, it, again, these are not horribly expensive, but for the limited things that they do, they are on the high end. And if you can't even sync your notes to the cloud, to their own cloud service, or to the mobile app and have access you know, to these things, then yeah, I, I cannot recommend it. So that's that's it. I'm gonna stop my rant. So if this information was helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel and have a nice day.